Formation and kinds of folds in geology. Fold in geology is a band or fracture in stratified rocks. Folds vary in width from a few inches to many miles. If the stresses in the earth that cause falls exceed the strength of the rocks involved, the rocks may fracture rather than flow. An ordinary fold has two limbs that fall or rise in opposite directions from a central axial plane. The dip of the limbs is the angle that they form with the horizontal plane. The axial line of the fold, the line of intersection of the axial plane with a bed of rock in the fold, may remain level but usually descends, in which case the fold is set to plunge or pitch. Kinds of folds When beds of rock bend upward, the resulting fold is called an anticline. If the rock instead bent downward to form a trough, the fold is called syncline. Anticlines and synclines may be simple structures or may have minor folds or cramplings on their limbs. A series of such folds that forms an arch is called an anticlinorium. A series that forms a trough is called synclinorium. Folds in which beds of rock are pressed together until they are parallel are called isoclinal folds. When beds of rock are so deformed that the limb of the resulting fold has passed the vertical, the rocks are said to be overturned. If the overturning proceeds until the reversed beds approach the horizontal, the structure is called a recumbent fold. Recumbent anticloria are called naps, particularly if the lower limb has separated from underlying rocks. Beds of rock that dip regularly in one direction form a homocline, but if the dip of the beds increases, decreases or reverses and then returns to its original inclination, the resulting step-like fold is called monocline. Domes are circular or elliptical folds in which hills of rock fall away from a central point. Corresponding structures in which the beds rise from a central point are called basins. The formation of folds. Linear folds such as anticlines and synclines are produced by the lateral compression of beds of rock or other such stresses. The shortening of the earth's surface that results may not extend into underlying rocks. Geosynclines, on the other hand, are great downfalls that subside deeply as the rocks contained in the geosyncline were laid. Mountains often form in the sides of earlier geosynclines. Recumbent folds may be produced by the separation of beds from underlying rocks. The beds then glide downward with the upper beds tending to override the lower beds. Domes may result from the rise of lava below or into overlying rock strata or from the rise of salt through unconsolidated sediments of greater density.